Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today we're going to be reviewing something a little bit different. We're going to be reviewing the Tab 400 and the Tab 320. The Tab is from the German manufacturer Naus Tabert and we're here at Blackmore Vale Leisure who've allowed us to come and film today. So first of all we're going to start with this. This is the larger Tab Caravan. It's the 400 as I said and this is the Metropolis edition which is a higher spec on their range. So let's go through some facts and figures and find out what we want to know about this caravan. Well as we can see it's quite compact. It's just short of six meters in total length and it's built on the Alco chassis. Width wise it's 2.2 meters in width and the all-important weight. This caravan is 1,200 kilograms in weight which is going to give you a generous payload of 210 kilos or you can upplate it like this one to 1,300 kilos that's going to give you a whopping payload of 310 kilograms. So that's the facts and figures, let's have a look around. This is quite a retro design on the tab but yet it's very popular. As I say we've got the Alco chassis, we've got a good size long A-frame and here we have our gas locker at the front. This will take two six kilogram Cala gas bottles. We've also at the front got a good sized window and then it sweeps back towards the top of the caravan. Now this colour is the grey. The tabs come in the grey but then you can change the decals and as you can see on the Metropolis we've got almost a, gr a, a goldy and black colour here. Now what I do like is this great big porthole and that overlooks the lounge area. Then we come down to the door. Now you'll notice the door is on the right hand side. As I say this is from a German manufacturer and they do do it on the right, there isn't a UK side for us, although this is a UK specification caravan. Above the door we've got an awning light and as we come down we find here we've got the window which overlooks the kitchen. You'll also notice we've got Dometic vents, now these have actually got covers on for during the winter and bad weather but this is where we're going to find an under counter fridge and freezer. Next here we've got a good size 15 inch alloy wheel. There's no Alco receiver on this so you would need to use a wheel clamp or some other type of device to secure the caravan. As we come down further now you'll see here we've got access and this is under the bed. This is an optional extra but a lot of the tabs will already have this fitted when dealers choose them so it's probably worth having this definitely as the option. There's also a catch as you'll notice here which clips there so that's going to hold it up for while you're trying to access under there. That's a really good feature you're not having to try and hold it up yourself. We'll move around next to the back of the caravan. Now as we come round to the back this is what I really like about the teardrop shape of the tab. It's got this great big sweep down here and you'll also notice a window here. Now this window, when we, we'll see when we go inside, it's actually electrically operated. It has a blind and a fly screen inside but on a night time when you're laid in the bed, which is in this part of the caravan, you can use the electrics to open this window up to about three or four inches and then you can look out and have it as a stargazer which I think is a fantastic feature. At the back you'll see the retro style light clusters here which sort of add to that feeling. We've got the tab badge here and the number plate will go underneath. That really finishes the back off so what we'll do is we'll go around to the near side and just see where some of our utility points are on this side. So around on the near side we're going to find a few more of the utility points. On board this caravan does have a gas heater and you'll see here a trume of vent so that's where the heater is going to vent out. If you're using the um, heater you must make sure that's open for ventilation. This is where we're going to plug in for the electric for when we're on electric hookup. As we come further as we can see a toilet cassette box point here so we know this is where we're going to be finding the toilet on the near side and last but not least we're going to find the water pump which is here. While I'm talking about the water point and water pump here it's worth mentioning that the tab actually has a 45 litre fresh water tank on board and that's excellent for off-gridding. The tab lends itself to off-gridding altogether which is a big thing in Europe 
This one has a 12 volt system, which means you can run the caravan on your 12 volt system. And the MIRO of the caravan also includes the 45 litres of fresh water. So you could technically, if you wanted, fill the caravan with 45 litres of fresh water before going off and off gridding to make sure you've got water for at least a good few days. As I say, with it being in the MIRO, that won't impact on your payload and the caravan is designed to do that. This caravan also has an allowance for a percentage of water in the flush tank. So that's really good to have that built into the MIRO. What we'll do is before we go inside, we'll just go around to the offside again, because I'm just going to talk through something that's interesting in relation to awnings for the tabs. So if you're looking at the tab and thinking you like the design, you like the idea and how lightweight it is, but the only problem is there's not a great deal of space available. With the tab, you can purchase an awning specifically designed for it. Isabella do a polled awning for the 400 and for the 320, which we're going to look at after this. The awning fits in the awning channel that feeds all the way around. So it's a full awning for the caravan and it comes out by, I believe, a good three meters in length. So that's going to provide a huge space in addition to this. And that's excellent, whether that be in bad weather or good weather, it's going to give plenty more space. And if you've got pets as well, that awning could be a vital amount of space. As far as I'm aware, that awning retails at about £1,400, but I just wanted to make you aware that that's specific to the tabs. Right, let's go inside now and have a look, because this is really quite a fantastic little space inside. Come on, let's go in. So here we are up front in the lounge area of the tab and the retro feel continues in here. Now in here, the space, we've got a bench seat there and we've got a bench, bench seat here which will fit two people. On a night time, if you want to use this as a bed, as a single bed, you can unlatch it from here, drop it down and then there's additional cushions which are in the wardrobe that you can make up to make this a bed. You may notice above me we've got a, a retro style lampshade and lamp and that's actually got an LED light in it so it doesn't even have a normal bulb so you don't have to worry about that becoming damaged. On the Metropolis, this edition we get blinds and fly screens and they're just under here. This trim, it is just for show, but above we've got some storage here and we've got storage above with these little nets. What I do really like are the porthole windows on both sides and on this side it's a little bit deeper and we've got some more storage here. Above there's also a plug socket above me here so that could be good if you want to plug in a phone to charge or a laptop or you're wanting to plug in a portable television because in this caravan I've not actually found a, an aerial socket so I would imagine you're probably going to have to use something portable. There's also some little extra LED lamps here to make it a little bit more modern and illuminate it nicely on a night and the switch for that is there. So that's the lounge area. It's small and compact but perfectly usable for a couple or three people. What we'll do next is we'll head into the kitchen. For such a compact caravan the tab has a really good size kitchen and here it is we've got ample worktop space. We'll start here at the sink. It's got an incredible depth to it We've got the hot and cold water tap. And then underneath here, we start with some of the kitchen storage. All the cupboards have positive latches for when you're traveling. And both sides open up to give great space under there for pans and food, drinks, whatever you choose to put in there. As we come down a little bit further, we're going to find on here light switch, a plug and also a 12 volt socket because as I mentioned this caravan can run on a 12 volt system for off gridding so if you've got a device that would run off 12 volts for cooking you can always put it into that socket there. In the window on the Metropolis again we've got a fly screen and a blind. Above here again with latches we've got plenty of cupboard space and this is where we're going to be putting our crockery, mugs, things like that. And we've also got one here as well. Again, plenty more space. Coming down, now this is where we're going to find the three gas burner hob. 
There's no electric, which again, standard on a European caravan, but we've got three gas burners there for cooking. You may notice there's no oven and there's no microwave. There isn't. What there is though, is a cutlery tray. Some more storage here on this excellent slide out rack. So great for tins and things like that. And we are getting a Dometic fridge and freezer. It's got a nice design. The fridge is actually hidden behind a wooden cabinet door, so it doesn't even look like a fridge. So it's nice and discreet. It's a Dometic appliance. And as I say, it is a freezer and fridge combination. There's certainly room in there for at least probably a week's worth of food for two people. The kitchen also has a splash back here. So if you are using the hob, you don't have to worry about anything being splattered all over the bedding. Right at the end of the worktop, we're going to find some additional worktop space in the form of this good sized flap. And there's a catch underneath that side that holds it up. So it's a really good addition to give you absolutely tons of space. So there we go, that's the kitchen, good little space. What we'll do next is we'll head over onto the near side and just look at the utilities that we get here before we head back into the bedroom. So first of all, on the near side, we've got this control panel and this is for the battery, which is going to be very useful if you are off-gridding, you want to be able to monitor the battery. We've got also here the control for the water pump and the control for the electrical system. As we come across, this is where we're going to be able to store our clothing. It's a good size wardrobe. We've got a rail there above. And as I say, this is where the backrests are from the sofas to put to make that single bed. So we've got plenty of storage in there for clothing. And there's also some little shelves, again, with some netting to make sure things are secured in there. Locks as well. Moving down now. Although this caravan has got Truma airblown heating, it's also got in it a Truma heater and this is additional and it will run off gas. So if it feels a little bit cold on those winter nights, despite how well insulated the tabs are, you can turn that on to give you that extra heat to circulate around the caravan. And again, that's probably a European feature because it certainly gets very cold and out there in their winters. So that's this part here. We've also got a little bit more storage here with some little shelves. I'm not sure what you'd put on there, but that'll be for you to decide. And what we'll do next is we'll venture into the washroom. Now we have got a shower, a toilet and a basin, which to say they've got that within such a, a compact caravan, that's quite good going. So let's have a look at what we're getting in here. As we go into the bathroom, we can see we've got a skylight, which is also going to allow ventilation. And we've got a shower curtain rail for when we pull the shower curtain around us. That also has an inflatable part to stop it rubbing against you. There's a holder there for the shower head. And as we come down, we see storage and another porthole window that the tab features. We then have a Thetford swivel toilet fitted and we have a blind as well that's going to come down over that porthole to give privacy. We've got the sink with storage underneath. It also has a soap holder next to the sink tap. And it's worth noting that the sink tap will pull away from the sink to turn into the shower. The shower tray is a good depth of three to four inches with a single plug hole. Under the sink, there's plenty of storage and there's also storage to the side as well, to the left. And here at the back of the Tab 400, we get this huge double bed. It's two meters long and you can either use this as your head side or this. And on a night, if you want, you could even lay this way to stare out of this window. This is the huge stargazer window. And this is where I was talking about before, where it's electrically controlled. The controls are just up here. You turn it on and you can open and close this window electronically. Great. It's also got a blind and a fly screen, so you don't need to worry about those bugs coming in. Lighting. We have a couple of lamps under here, LED lights that are going to illuminate the bed space. And there's a little bit of storage above. Just here, we've got a shelf. So you could put a television on there if you wanted to watch television in bed or drinks and cups of tea. 
under this bed we've got masses of storage as well. With, this is where we're going to find our leisure battery at this side and over here we're going to find the Truma hot water heater. The controls for that are down here on the side of the bed. Otherwise that's about it for the bedroom space. So what do we think to this Tab 400 Metropolis? Well, it's quite a funky and retro little thing. What's it missing for me? It's missing USBs and I'm sure a few of you picked up on that. That's probably something you can ask your dealer to fit in for you. We haven't got a television aerial point that I've been able to find. So again, maybe that's something that you can add or go with a portable television. Warranty wise, you will get a 10 year water ingress warranty with the Tab 400. The other appliances come with different levels of warranty depending on which manufacturer they're from, such as the Dometic appliances and the Thetford appliances. How much is this caravan you're wanting to know? Well, it's just under £24,000. That may seem a lot to many of you. However, what you are getting is that original Naus Tab experience. This is a funky little caravan. The build quality, I must say, is excellent. It appears solid, despite the fact that this caravan has an MTPLM of 1,300 kilos and an MIRO of under a tonne. Everything in it seems really well put together. There may be some of you out there that are thinking, I want something smaller. I like the Tab, but I want something smaller. And I can help you with that because next we're going to have a look at the Tab 320. And this is the Tab 320 Basic. So it's an entry level Tab, considerably cheaper than this one. So let's head over and have a look at the 320. So we've seen the 400 Metropolis and that might be a bit out of your price range. So what about this? This is the Tab 320 Basic. There's several models on the 320. And this is an entry level. This is going to come in at just over £12,000 and it has got a couple of extras on it. So we'll have a look around. Facts and figures. This is considerably shorter than the 400. We're going to be at around about five metres on this caravan and we're going to be two metres wide. Weight wise, we have an MIRO of 650 kilos and an MTPLM of 750. So we've got 100 and 100 kilo payload. I'm not entirely sure on the up plating on this but it may well be available on the Alco chassis. So what are we getting for our pretty good value amount of money? Well at the front we've got the gas locker that's going to take two six kilogram gas bottles. We've got a nice front window and that overlooks the fridge because the fridge forms the front of this 320 and here we can see the vents for the fridge. As we come down, we find the door. We don't have a, an awning light on this entry level. And further back, this is where we're going to find the lounge area. And here's the window that's going to overlook it. Down below, we notice a steel wheel, no alloys. And that sums up the off side of the caravan. I mentioned on the 400 that you could get an Isabella awning. And the same goes for the 320. It goes all the way around the awning channel the full teardrop size and again comes out several meters to give you a vast amount of extra floor space that you might want. Let's go and have a look around the back now of the 320. As we come round it's not massively different to the 400 apart from obviously we haven't got that huge stargazer window. We've got the same style teardrop though and we've got the retro lights, the tab badge and room for the number plate. We'll go around now to the near side. We're not going to find as many utilities here on the near side because quite simply, this little caravan hasn't got them. So what are we going to find? We're going to find quite simply the window into the lounge, the porthole up front in the kitchen and the electric hookup point there. You may be wondering, how do you fill it with water? Well, it's actually got a 15 litre onboard water tank. So you fill it with that, you take the tap, you take the tank to the tap, fill it and put it back in. There's no external fill. So that's the exterior of this funky little Tab 320. Let's go and have a look inside. So inside the Tab, we've got fairly reasonable headroom. 
we've got a skylight to let light in I appreciate it's not overly well lit today but unfortunately we haven't got the electric power so we'll just have to make do with the lighting as it is up front we've got a fantastic little kitchen space for some good worktop space and under here we're going to find a sink and we're also going to find the Dometic two burner gas hob the two gas burners are going to be your only cooking appliance in this little tab very much like the 400 if we put those down we've got lighting up above here with an LED strip to see what we're doing we've got a nice little front window and on here we've got blinds and fly screens fitted to the near side we've got a couple of shelves for our condiments and we've got a plug socket and a light socket so we still can plug in the toaster kettle coffee machine we also find here the operation for the water which is under here which i'll show you we've got the on off for the electric and for the battery and that's also going to power the 12 volt system because again these tabs are excellent for off gridding and you can have the 12 volt system fitted now this the basic we do find on here we have got the Dometic fridge fitted now this is an added option to the basic but it has been fitted on this model we pull this open we see there's some good space in there for two people and in here this is where we've got a small freezer compartment you probably get a couple of ice creams in there for a nice warm day so that's the Dometic fridge with freezer compartment as we come over we've got here a cutlery tray and then down below now this is where we're going to find the water system as well as a couple of shelves and as you can see here this is the water tank that I was talking about this actually comes out you take that to the tap and you fill it with here with your water and that's going to give you around 15 litres of onboard water for the sink up above we've got some little storage cupboards here you're probably going to get a couple of mugs and plates in those and then next to all this kitchen business we've got a wardrobe now this is quite a good size wardrobe to be fair we've got a rail in there and underneath we've got room then for shoes and mucky bits as well so storage wise very good We've got the porthole window over here we've got the blinds as well so you make sure you've got privacy as we move into the back of the tab 320 we're going to find this huge lounge area and it's worth noting that the upholstery colors can come in five different options so you don't have to have this blue as you can see it's a great big u-shaped wraparound and this solid heavyweight table this is really interesting how it converts into a bedroom space there's several options at the back here there's a shelf if you lift the shelf this back part drops down to actually then make a flat bed so what you can do is you can either use the back and that first part as a bed or if you want an even bigger bed you can drop this table to this height and use these cushions to then make this into a gigantic probably king or queen sized bed you can also once you've dropped that back use it as two singles if you want to lay this way so it gives you it gives you various options that I've discovered in the lounge area we've got plenty of lights we've got LEDs above here and underneath we're going to find two plug sockets so if you want to charge your iPhones your iPads your i whatevers you can charge them all up Put them in the pockets and you've both got that available storage wise we've got several little storage cupboards one here and one on the other side and then there's also some further storage just up there i'm not entirely sure what i'd put in there but it's available nonetheless so that's how the lounge space of the 320 works and those of you that have been watching will notice that there isn't a bathroom and that's right there is no bathroom there is no toilet within this 320 so you're going to have to use the facilities on site but you have to make a compromise to get such a small compact little functional caravan with all these bits at £12,000 you've got to compromise 
It's also worth noting that what I have discovered when I spoke earlier about the MTPLM, this can be upplated to 850. So that's actually going to give you 200 kilograms of payload. So it's a really good little caravan. What we'll do is we'll just head outside and just finish with a summary of what we found about the tabs. I'll see you out there. So there we have it, the Tab 400 and the 320. Not to everyone's taste, I know, but extremely funky and retro caravans. We'd just like to say thank you very much to Blackmore Vale Leisure in Dorset for letting us come here today and film these caravans. It's worth noting as well, that if you do buy a caravan through them, these two pitches that were filmed on today are available for you and will be included in your purchase. You get two nights and the staff here will help you with any issues you have. So thank you to them and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.